Hey, what is up guys, Klausnix here, and today I'm going to talk about something that I saw on the H3 podcast a while ago. It just kind of stuck with me, and I figured it might be something good to talk about. So this is about when uh, Harley Morenstein was on the H3 podcast. They did a little bit of a segment on how he was talking about how he was losing weight and some of the strategies he took and stuff like that, and he made a point here that I think is really important, and I think a lot of people could benefit from hearing it. So if you didn't hear it there, I want you to hear it here. I, I, I have these times where I'll sit down like to put on socks and I'll be like, ooh, I'll be like, look at this yes. bad boy, you know? There's a lot of people who can relate to that right now. Yeah, and who had a moment where I was just looking in the mirror and I just had like a, an angle before I was getting in the shower, probably charging a phone at the same time and whatever, and I just looked back and I was like, like, is that my ass or my back? No, oh, no. Or where does my back and my <laughs> right. ass begin? I'm like, right. what's happening? And I was like, just like, that's my body. I was like, it's like fully like people joke like potato, but like I was full on potato ass. Huh. And uh, I, that was just a moment for me. I was like, oh, I should maybe change a bit. Mm. For, so it, was it like a straight, dis, like you were like, I'm in, I'm going. Yeah, it's, it's, if you really think about the, all the times I looked at myself and I was like, oh, it's terrible. Like all those times culminate in many false starts right there's so many times where it's like now it's the time See, that's my <laughs> and then something happens you're like wait tomorrow might be Zyke, the time because like, that's Zyke. good exactly yeah. Yeah. yeah but those false starts are important they really are i really feel like you mm. build on that like Interesting. like i i maybe got to a place where i felt comfortable because i had all those false starts leading up to it mm -hmm. that wouldn't have happened if i didn't feel one way you know many times you know, because after the fifth time, you're going to be like, am I going to say this is going down again or am I going to lie to myself again? Right. How many times? Right. For me, it was like 27 times. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> keep doing that's it. That's cool. Though. I like Keep that. doing it. Keep failing. Seriously. I like that. No, I think that's important for people listening to remember that. So I think that that is really good advice. And I feel like I really related to that because that was the exact same way that I got into health and fitness. I had the exact same start. I just got tired of seeing myself in the mirror. I got tired of taking my shirt off and being kind of embarrassed about my body, dressing to hide my fat. That was a reality that I lived in every day and a reality that a lot of people live in. It just, it sucks. So I think a lot of people hit that breaking point. And I think that that sometimes is a really good place to start. You know, it's like all these false starts, like he said, they're not just like failures, you know, they're you're getting experience, you're learning all the ways not to go about doing it. And eventually you're going to hit a point where you're just, you're tired of failing. You're tired of looking the way you are and you're just going to go. You're just going to grow from there. So it's not like you watch the most motivational video ever, or you just saw something that really triggered you. Sometimes you just are, get sick of failing, you know? And I think that that is huge for character growth and development because when you're coming from that place, that's different than like, oh, okay, maybe I'll start tomorrow. Like if you're coming from a place where you're like, I'm sick and tired of failing, like this is it. This is going to be the time. This is going to be the day where I make a change. And when you're coming from a place like that, it's a lot easier to stay on it and stay motivated or you don't even need that motivation because that is your motivation. Like you just, you're living with it. You don't need to be refueled. You're just living in that. I'm going to make a change. I'm not going to fail again. I think that that is huge. It shows a lot of character growth and development. And that's what ultimately fat loss is going to come down to who you are, your willpower and your motivation, not necessarily all your strategies and whatever techniques you've looked up online. It all comes down to your mindset. All right, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and please consider subscribing. If you haven't yet, that would really help me grow my channel and put up more videos like this. Gloss next out.